It's a beautiful spring day in the garden. Today we came here to harvest some vegetables that we planted last winter. It was last December when we planted some onions, peas, garlic and broad beans. Now we are in May and the garden is looking as lively as ever. Broad beans especially are getting very large. It is quite a sturdy plant and it doesn't need any care honestly. Even with that you can still see that it's incredibly abundant. Now is just the right time to harvest and cook them. I find that spending time in the garden and planting vegetables really gives you a whole different perspective. When you sow a seed, you're preparing for something to come in months time. Almost six months have passed since we prepared these veggie rows, and you can see the passage of time so clearly through the plants. With a few days of work during the winter, we now can have dozens of meals fresh from the garden. Here we are harvesting the peas. They are so delicious even when they are raw. I can hear them shaking inside but unfortunately I couldn't catch that with the mic. And these are our onions. Here you can see me tearing off their flowers to allow better root growth, since we don't want onions to go to seed so early. But of course it doesn't go to waste. These green parts are so juicy and sweet. They add an amazing flavor to our meals. My favorite thing right now is making omelets with them. This much is already enough for a dinner for six. And last but not least, garlic. Like onions, they are not fully ready to be harvested yet. But they already taste great, so I just went ahead and uprooted one. Twinsies! It has become some sort of a tradition for us to plan a picnic in the garden during springtime. We come together, celebrate the beginning of a new season with friends, and enjoy the literal fruits of our work. We harvest and cook the vegetables together, have a chatter, enjoy the sun. We're planning to gather here next week, but until then we will just take this first harvest home and share it with our neighbors and friends. There is still much to do in the garden. But for the day, we're taking off. <laughs>